Hello guys and welcome back to the Windswept Cowboy. I am Chrissy and I am so happy that you're here. In today's video I will be adding a board and batten wall in my laundry room as well as adding some molding around one of the doors. Here's what the area looks like before I get started. Here are the three different sizes of molding or trim that I'll be using and I purchased mine from Menards. To get started, I used a utility knife to score the caulking around the existing molding. This step is really important. It prevents you from damaging your walls or pulling off extra paint that your new trim will not cover. I used my 5-in-1 tool and a hammer to remove all the molding or trim that I was wanting to replace. I used that same tool to remove any excess caulking so my new trim boards would lay flat. Alright, to measure my molding here around my door, I kind of do it the easy way, maybe a lazy way, and maybe not quite so technical, but it's always worked for me. And I just lay my piece up against my door frame, and I want like an eighth inch reveal, so I just mark it with the pencil where I want to cut it. Did you ever stop and think? I spend too much time just getting ready. Let me be honest. I don't know. All right, I got my two side pieces in and they look pretty darn good. Now, the next step will require a tape measure, and I'm going to measure from outside edge of that to outside edge of this one, and I'm going to add an inch, and that's going to give me my measurement for the next piece that I'm going to add. Single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. I'm going to head out to the garage now and cut my board. This board is quarter by one and three quarters, kind of like a piece of lattice. And it's going to be attached this way up there just to kind of add some detail. I wish I could take the camera out with me, but today's low was 24 degrees below zero, but that feels like a 42 below zero. So it's super cold out in that garage and it was at my camera so fast. So I'm gonna run out and cut this and then we'll be back to add it to the top. I drew a half inch tick mark where this is going to butt up against. Let's see if I can show you. It's gonna sit like that and be about right there. If I had extra hands, then I wouldn't need to do that. But if you're working by yourself, that makes a good reference point. This next piece is the same board I used for the sides of the door and I cut it to the same width of those pieces. This next piece just caps it off and I did cut it a half inch on both sides wider than the door. Yay, my first door molding. I love it. See before. After, I think it's gonna look so good. I want to do this on every door in my house and also same with the baseboards I'm going to be working on those next I'm going to be removing all of the baseboards when we get new flooring So I don't want to secure them like super good just a few nails and I obviously will be caulking all of this area because there's a gap right there. Your walls are never perfect, so caulking is your best friend for that. One, two, one, two, three. I've been feeling so 
small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself now to the most exciting part. I'm going to do the top piece, the top rail. You can kind of see a faint line. I decided to go 65 inches above my baseboard that I just installed. And I'm going to attempt to do this by myself and hold my board and a level and a nail gun. So grab your popcorn, guys. This is where it's getting super tricky for me. I have that vent there and I cannot put anything on top of it just in case we need to remove it, like to clean it or whatever. So I cannot have any of my boards coming down on top of it. That being said, that's a 15 inch, sorry, 15 inch span. Are we going to focus? Okay, that's better. The vent there is 15 inches, so I can only have minimum 15 inch span. So I had to go a little bit wider and the very last two board or one board, two spaces, I'm just gonna have to split in half and I think it'll be close enough. They're not gonna be exact, but I'm going to cut each piece individually. And I have my marks on the wall already where everything needs to go. So I just need to measure and cut. Say I'm in town, I get an ocean. We both walk the same ground, been traveling all over, searching far and away for a sign to lead me straight. We walk together down the streets of our home, it's been forever, a long time that I've been. Okay, one more last step of construction. I'm going to add this ledge piece like that. And my second thing is, do I want to do a cross brace? I'm kind of leaning toward yes, but I'm not gonna do it right away. I think I'm going to add this, um, fill in all the holes and caulk all of the lines and things like that and paint see what that looks like and if I feel like it needs a little more detail then I'm going to add that. Wow I have never done anything like this before. I love it. I definitely encourage you guys to try to do this. It really isn't that hard and you can have your pieces cut at like your Home Depot or you know places like that that do that and then you wouldn't have to cut all of these pieces. Just know your measurements before you go. So yeah, now we're ready to caulk, spackle, and paint.
Okay, we are back. It's the next day. I attempted to do some work at night, but the lighting in here was just so horrible. Very dim and very gold. And nothing was coming across the right color, but I did manage to get two hooks hung, and I have the rest of where I'm gonna put the hooks all mapped out. So let me give you a closer look of my hooks. I'm so excited about them. I found them at Menards for $1.99 each. Here is your closer look. I absolutely think these are the cutest little hooks. And for $1.99, look at the huge impact that they make. And as you can see, I told you before, I like to write all over my walls when I do things. So I have all the other ones mapped out where they're gonna go, even the holes marked. So we're gonna get to drilling and hanging the rest of these hooks. I just purchased this rug from Boutique Rugs and it is so very pretty. It's actually not the one I thought I was ordering, but I love it anyway and so we're just going to keep it instead of complaining. The one I thought I was ordering had a little more brown in it. I'm okay with this. I think it's going to hide the dirt pretty good. We do have rugs right outside the door for people to wipe their feet before they even step in here. And there's just a couple more things I want to add to this room, but it is looking so, so pretty. I ran outside and I grabbed my bench that I had outside. It was covered in snow, and so I added some paper towels down there just to kind of hold any dirt that is on the bottom of the legs away from the rug. But yeah, I'm gonna use this temporarily. I think I want to make one for this space, but that will be in a separate video. Maybe this summer, we'll see, because I'm gonna wanna put this back outside next summer. But for now, I think it will be just fine. Forever, forever, forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here? I don't know if I am in love with the lantern. I think, I think I'm gonna take him down. He's just not the right lantern for the area. I like the concept, just not what I have. I may just set him down here on the bench for now and then call that good. I just have one more small piece. It's a little welcome sign that I made and I'm just gonna stick it right up here. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for the last few days. <laughs> Don't click off yet though, because I have some after photos for you. Uh, I have two takeaways from this project. One is don't be afraid to try something big or outside your comfort zone, because it's gonna turn out. And if it doesn't, you know, you learn from it. The second takeaway is maybe grab an extra set of hands. That would have made my project go so much more smoothly and quickly. It probably would have been done on time. 
but I can say I did it all myself and I am super happy. So you guys go and have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!